Okay. Well, I want to know what why you why you say that I you were my daughter. And in fact, I am not a married woman, although I was divorced. And now I'm a widow. No, wait, what? If you got divorced and your your ex-husband died, would you be called a widow or not? I think not. I don't know. You can <laughs> you can tell me in the comments below, I guess. Anyways, um, the spare room I have is pretty bad. You should know. How did you get in that in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? Jesus, what's wrong with you? Slit your throat? Are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Alright, fair enough. Um, I want to know how did you get, you get in tonight, you know? I mean, I, I think Susan locked the door, or maybe not. Well, here goes. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff too. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. I see. But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. Then for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and knocked the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. A hunch. Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? <sighs> Alright. Okay, um... I don't want to talk about the freaking past. I will just introduce you to the freaking spare room. Here. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who talks to rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel, then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos. And rats. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's alright. And he kept the rats away. Alright. Yeah, I... This this question is pretty uh, interesting. Why would you want a freaking room here when you can... When you uh, can actually afford a hotel, you know? Okay, here we go. Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it, this flat's falling apart. It's cold, it's dark, it's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. 
They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People. Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. Do you think they'll smell the rats on me? I'd really use a shower. I guess Susan I guess Susan really really wants to be alone. Well then, here he goes. I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck and it doesn't shut properly. It's all right. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Fine. I give up. <laughs> Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Well, Susan, you should appreciate things, you know? Yep, it's on already, so let's go. Let's keep going here. Wait, I want to turn on the switch. Turn on. There we go. Very well. Lit up, I guess? I don't know. Lit up? Whatever? Light switch. Okay. Spare room. This room is perfect. Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and someone to watch too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Oh, okay. Um, freaking formality questions. Here. Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well... I've never really rented a room before, so not really. I've lived with my mum all my life. Till recently, that is. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post out there. Um, yeah, sh sure, that'd be okay. All right. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a uh, serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? A scar across the face, an eye patch, rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate you've just described. Just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. Okay, here we go. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... Friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so... I don't know what it looks like. I love this lamp. Does it work? What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them. I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. He said something... really bad. Something horrible. I need to talk to him to get closure, you know? Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. 
What? Are you part of that emo subculture? Okay. Uh, fine. Okay. Are you a part of that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. No, no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that snow crap. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Okay. Clearly a sensitive subject for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're called for emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black too. Of course! That's because black is the best color. Period. You know, you've been asking me all these questions and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Okay. All right, it's none of your personal business, so I'm not, I don't want to tell you about it. You are way out of line to ask. It's not your business. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to upset you. It's just that I'm a good listener, you know? Maybe I could help. Sometimes it's enough if there's someone who will listen. Let's go back to the living room. Where is the living room anyway? Room's great! So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? What?! I hope you're not gonna change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? What?! It's... It's... The freaking lady from the freaking house! What the hell is she doing here?! Oh no. What happened? Are, are you alright? Oh no. Go away! You have to go away right now! But... Why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? Um... I don't want to offend you. I know you're gonna die, but... Um, this one! You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... Um... She's not one of them! I know! I'm sure! I mean, you're, you're, you, may, you may look emo or something, but you're not one of them, so I'm not gonna answer that. Just stay away from me! What? Are you deaf? Did I not make myself clear? This is not a good place for you! Where am I gonna go? It's late and, and it's pouring down with rain. I don't give a damn where you go. You can go back to the bloody train station for all I care. Anywhere. Anywhere but here. No, I don't want to answer this. Oh man. I guess we don't have any fucking choice, I guess. Here. I knew you were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason! Calm down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, alright? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble, okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, 
No. 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 I should have known. Here goes nothing. You're going to die. I know. Yeah. I know. But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind treating abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I... I don't know how you're going to die, but call it a hunch, if you like. That's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. Oh my god. She has cancer. Stage 4, I guess. She's got only a matter of time before she even disappears. If you hear me guys, um, they're cracking things in something. I'm eating chips r right now. Wait, what? Um, what the hell's going on? Why is... Why am I lying down on a bloody... Uh, table? Bed? Or something? It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. Holy shit! What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream? Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What do you say? Shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? Okay, you must be number two in our five, in our top five list. I'm gonna be, st I'm gonna be really, 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 really be a idiot to you. No, mean, I mean. Touch me, and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. I fucking mean it. You have no idea who I am. <laughs> You're just a crazy cat lady. That's all you are. Soon, I'll be the crazy cat lady who blew your brains out all over these fucking walls, pal. So laugh while you can. It's not long now. What's going on in there? this did you play with this little bitch behind my back cuz if you did I swear to God me I'd never do that you know me honey you're the only girl for me this lady here will join us for dinner that's all for what Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me! You know damn well I can't stand it! And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again! Okay, okay.
I was just saying uh, she, she's here for dinner. Good dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. You nasty little whore! Trying to seduce my husband in my own home? How bloody rude! Yeah, get away from me, you stupid bitch! Get away from me! Shut up, you stupid bitch! I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Oh, no! Damn it! Ah. Ah, ouch. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. And this woman reminds me of the freaking burpers in Silent Hill for the room. Do you find it weird, guys? What? We're a freaking cat? <laughs> 